Good afternoon everyone, my name is Ezgi Koyukan and today I would like to ask you two questions. Uh, which one's process of production is more harmful for our nature? What do you think? A plastic bag or a paper bag? Plastic bag. Plastic bags. Surprisingly, the answer is uh, paper bags according to Institutes for Life Cycle Environment Assessment. And here is my next question. If I give you an initial information that ensures you a CFO light bulb is, uh, has a higher lumens per watt efficiency and less price, would you prefer to buy a CFO light bulb or a LED light bulb by only considering economic purposes? CFO. CFO. Again, unexpectedly, a LED light bulb would be a more economic choice. From these two examples, we can conclude that there must be some other criteria rather than its price, material or efficiency to determine a material's eco-friendliness and economy. There is a method which examines all these aspects and determines an overall benefit which is called as life cycle assessment. Today, as you may have already guessed, uh, I will be talking about advantages of using life cycle assessment. Here is my outline. I will be talking about two advantages of using life cycle assessment. Firstly, I will be talking about its environmental advantages and I will continue with economic advantages of it. But firstly, I would like to mention uh, about life cycle assessment briefly. Dr. Olga Ivanova, who is a researcher at Netherlands Environment Assessment Agency, defines the motto of life cycle assessment, or shortly BCA, as cradle to grave. Under favor of her definition, I would like to sum summarize the cycle uh, with the help of this diagram. As you can see from this diagram, BCA is composed of several stages like raw material, transportation, manufacture, transportation, use, and end of life. Uh, to clarify my point, I would like to give you an example. Uh, think about an output uh, which can be produced by using two different materials. LCA gives you the opportunity to analyze energy and emissions in each step. By that sense, in one of, if one of the material consumes less energy in only one step, uh, does it mean that uh, it is more efficient and beneficial? Apparently, it doesn't, since we have to consider all of the stages uh, and the overall process. Because we are dealing with energy, it is obvious that LCA is related with environment and economy. By that sense, let me move on with environmental advantages of the VCA. Um, mainly, VCA reduces footprint of materials that is consumed or produced in a product's life cycle. VCA also prefers three R principle, which is reduce, reuse, and recycle. Um, in that sense, this, re this all results decrease in environmental pollution and VCA uh, contributes less to global warming. Now, let me go back to one of the examples that I mentioned in the beginning, which was paper bags versus plastic bags. I told you that plastic bags are more eco-friendly. Let's look at the reason behind it. According to the table that I borrowed from Institute for Life Cycle Energy Analysis, by looking at only their uh, raw materials, paper bags seem to be more eco-friendly since wood, which is its raw material is renewable. But, uh, however, we must consider other criteria like energy to make, solid waste, and total emissions to the air. It is obvious that when we consider that points, uh, plastic bags emissions and waste production is much uh, less than paper bags. Now, uh, I, want, I want you to focus on this bar graph. Uh, which I borrowed from Institute for Life Cycle Energy Analysis. The vertical axis is for grass per use, the horizontal axis is for waste types like atmospheric waste and waterborne waste. The blue bar represents for paper bags and the red bar is for plastic bags. If we look at this uh, bar graph, uh, we can see, clearly see that uh, paper bags produces more uh, waste when it's compared with plastic bags. Uh, now, let me continue with economic advantages of VCA. VCA uh, has uh, an economic
economic advantages for both producers and consumers. For produce, economic advantages for pro, of VCA for producers is uh, related with VCA's environmental benefits. Uh, VCA provides less energy consumption and renewable, uh, VCA uses uh, renewable materials and recycles they both, which they both cause decreasing the cost. However, for consumers, it provides long-term benefits for process of usage. Now, uh, to make my point, let's remember the other question in the beginning, which was LED light bulb versus CFL light bulb. According to the uh, report of Michael Graham Richard, who is a re designer, Ostrom's study shows that only 2% of total energy consumed by LED-based lamps is used in their production. As you can understand, although CFLs are cheaper, in long term, LEDs are more beneficial in economic sense. So you have to consider every possibility to decide the economy of a product. To sum up, today I have talked about life cycle assessment method and its environmental and economic advantages. I gave some examples to, by using this method. In these days, we should think about environmental and economic consequences of every step we take. In that sense, VCA helps us to make better decisions by protecting both environment and our economy. This, this brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you all for listening to me. If you have any, uh, any questions, I would like to receive them. And here is my references if you are interested in. Thank you all for listening to me.